Hey YouTube. Hey my divas out there. What's up? Thanks for tuning in to DivaTube to check out my video. We are going to discuss makeup, makeup brushes, y'all. Brush brand that I found on Amazon. It was really spelled out. E Max Design Brushes. Emacs Design Brush Package. So when you buy these, you get, let's see, it comes in something like this. This is what the package it came in. Came into this package right here. And it also has, it also has, um, like a nice little brochure of what each brush is for which I thought was cool because see I need to I just want to like go over which brushes I found on Amazon that work and don't cost an arm and a leg because some of us is beauty on a budget boo so Emacs design makeup brushes mm -hmm. Get a close look, y'all. It also comes with a handy description of what goes for what. Like, what to use each brush for. And you, it sits here, it says on here, if you get a little close, let me see here. It says Emacs Design, it's numbered, and... See right there. Mm. Emacs Design Makeup Brush Set. Okay, so it is numbered on here, so it can tell you, you know, which one to use. So I needed that, and on the back, it has exactly what kind of brush. Um, it is so the foundation brush was number one right here see this is your foundation brush I do not use this for foundation no I use number two which is the big eyeshadow brush and yes, it looks a little bit used because I just used it to do my look today. But I use this brush to put on my liquid foundation. I really haven't used this brush yet. I used it for blush one time and it did okay. Now, it does have the kind of signature ones that we can't miss. Kabuki brush, which I use. Okay. I like that they are like in the bamboo settings. So that's what made me want to get them. And then you have your, this one, which is number 10 on here. This is number 10. And on the back, it's listed. It says multi-function foundation brush. And I use this a lot. In most of my videos, you've probably seen this a lot of times. This is my blush slash uh, blending slash foundation brush. I put all my loose mineral powders on here. My shine free Maybelline loose powder with this brush. And then I use um, a lot out of the collection. I use the number 11, which is right next to it. This brush right here, as you can see, it was used today. And I use that also for my loose setting powder brush. I use it so many times over and over and over and over and over. So another interesting thing what we have here is how they look. Uh, let's see. I just like the bamboo look for these brushes. Uh, so, it's right there on the back of each one, but 
you can get a little confused like number eight is a blusher brush so it's kind of short and it looks like this and sometimes I can get this kind of crossed up with this brush which is really your highlighting brush and I have use this as my highlighting brush there's no laws in beauty but it does come with the things you need like these four babies your smudger brush for under my eyes you need that flat tip for applying concealer underneath your eyebrows and uh, also when you wash it off you can use it to put your eyeshadow um, or eyeliner underneath your eyes and the waterline boo then you have this one and it is a small eyeshadow brush which is useful when you are putting more than one color on your eyes or if you're blending out your um, eyeshadow base this little guy come in real handy mm -hmm. eyebrow shaper need that yes you do you need it need it then this one got a little angle to it and that is your concealer brush I don't use it for a concealer though I use it for my eyeshadows my highlights I use my beauty blender or the stippling brush or something like that for my concealer but most of the time it's my blender brush my beauty world techniques blender sponge And they come in that cute little pouch and everything. Now, these bad boys did not cost your girl no 40 no 60 They cost me like $20. Then, wow. when um, we're really tight, you get eco tools. And this is the big, big, fluffy powder brush. And I've used it, but, you know, it got real messy for me. So, that's why I had to go find the Emacs design brushes. But this stiffling brush here, y'all. This Eco Tool stiffling brush. Baby. This little special guy here. He done made this face look real nice. Numerous times. He done saved this face, y'all. Mm, on a budget, Eco Tools brush set will save you. Don't sleep. Now, if you love real techniques and you love their beauty sponges, then you need to be friends with this little guy right here. This is their expert foundation brush, and yes, it is an expert. You will be an expert with this. Um, oh, if y'all want to know how to use your makeup brushes, my channel is mostly for us beginner girls, brown skin girls, caramel girls, and butterscotch girls. Comment below and I will do a makeup video specifically on applying makeup with makeup brushes. Let me know if you want it and you will get it, boo. But if you do like the Real Technique sponge, and it's kind of like what I love, I have maybe three of them, go ahead and get yourself the Real Techniques Expert Foundation Brush. If you got a little extra coins, because tax season's right now, you can go ahead and get the whole brush set. It's not that expensive. But yes, these will hold up. These will beat the face to the gods. So, that's all the brushes that I have. 
um, at this time. And my beauty blenders, if y'all want to see the beauty blenders that I spend my hard-earned money on, put it in the comment box below. Let me know. Thank you so much for supporting and coming by my page and checking out my video about um, makeup brushes. And I'll see y'all in the next one, boo.